Welcome back, this is Dan Havey with CF Ninja Hacks. And in this video, we're gonna go through how to create a thumbnail for your video. Biggest problem with any thumbnail is, you know, we all end up with a goofy look on our face when we get onto a freeze frame. And so I had someone in the group ask me today how we could get around this. And actually what it is, is I discovered that I had something in my YouTube account, a Chrome extension for years, and I never knew that it had this functionality. So let me show you first off how to upload that, uh, that Chrome extension. And here it is right here. It's vidIQ for, uh, for YouTube. And all you do is you come in, you click on apps, and then you go to your web store, and you click on that, and you type in vidIQ into the search line, and here you go, and yours will say add to Chrome. And once you get it in, it'll give you this little IQ up here at the top. So when you come into YouTube, it gives you all kinds of extra functionality. As you see, you can you browse all over the place. You got stuff down here. And as you're creating a video, it gives you all kinds of keywords and things like that. But you can, you can look at all that on your own. There's just tons of functionality with vidIQ. But the old-fashioned way that you could put in a different uh, thumbnail for your video is you just come in here, click on Custom Thumbnails, and you could upload it from your hard drive. But the other way to do it is you can come in here, and this is something that vidIQ will put in. You come in, you create a thumbnail, and what you can do then for starters is if we want to keep Christina on the screen, what we could do is we'll just pause her here, and then we will X that out. And then what you can do is you can just use these arrows to go frame by frame through the video to get to the point where you have something that you want to use. So we'll just go back here. And what I like to do is use anything where there's action. So let's see if we can get a point here. I saw it earlier where she had her hands up in the air. Let's see if we'll scroll a little bit to come close to it. Where was it? I missed it now. Well, let's see. Okay, here's another one. So she's got her hand up in the air here. So let's see if we can get a clear shot. And I'm not going to mess around with this too much. But just get something that looks relatively decent. Well, okay. So I don't want to spend a whole lot of time on that. So we will find a freeze frame that looks really good uh, for the person. Or you can make it solid background. You can import another image. Or you can use the existing thumbnail. And actually, let's just use this existing thumbnail. Whether you use a still video or you use the current thumbnail, it's not going to make any difference for the next step. So we'll just click on Next. And now what you can do is you can come in here and you can start putting in shapes and images and text and all kinds of stuff. So let's just let's just use the, the default text here. And we're just going to add that text. So it'll put it up here in the left-hand corner. So let's just pull it down a little bit. Now let's say oh, we want it to be a little bit bigger. So let's make it 36. And let's say we want it to be a blue color. And you can type in down here your hex numbers. So we'll just pick this blue color. And then we'll click out of this. And let's have it be bold, and we can underline it too, but let's not underline it. And then let's just say, okay, which one of these millions of fonts do we want here? Holy cow, let's see, Creepster, ooh, that's scary. So let's, um, let's see, I, was, I had one before I was playing around with this. No, nah, it wasn't Lobster, what was it? Let's try audio wide, so let's just leave it with that. So now we have we have some text here, and let's just bring it down below her a little bit. Now... Let's say we want to highlight that text a little bit. So let's put an ellipse on the screen and it's gonna be white and it's gonna have a black border if we so choose. So we have an ellipse on the screen. So let's pull this over and let's put a little bit of a, we'll just put a two pixel border around it. Now let's come back into it, come up to the corner. Let's pull it up, make it bigger. And we're gonna put it right over the text. Now it's over the text, we don't want that. So we want to, Click on this, and I think that's, yeah, I think that sent it to the rear. But this, I, I found this a little fussy on whether it wants to do it or not. Let's click out of here. Okay, so yeah, it's working right, I think. So let's click on this text, and then we'll bring that to the front, and we'll bring this down. Let's click out of it. Okay, I think that's working okay now. So we got our text down here. 
And um, let's say on the on the text too. Let's let's say what you can do here is you can put a border around the text, which would actually be a shadow. But let's do that. We'll just put a little little something around there. But let's change this background color. Let's change it back to white. So now we got the we got almost the shadow there of the text. And let's go back to the text itself. And then let's change the border color to red. So there we go. That's kind of an interesting effect. But obviously, you can see you can do all kinds of stuff here. You can upload an image. You can also put in all kinds of different favicons and things or emojis or whatever you want to call them. So we'll put our little emoji over here. We can make it, uh, we can make it bigger. We can put it right over your face if you want. You could do anything you want there. And then let's see here. Another thing is let's say we want to put in a rectangle. So let's just put in that rectangle. We're going to add the shape. And then what we can do is we can just grab a hold. Let's push it up into the corner. And then we'll grab a hold of the edge and we'll just pull it all the way across. So we got that shape all the way across the top now. So we'll pull this down and let's pull this up a little bit. And I can play around with this forever if we want. But let's say we want to have another shape. And let's say we're just going to put another triangle. I'm sorry, another rectangle down here at the bottom. And what it did is it popped it up there. So let's bring it down here. And let's change the color of that to black this time. And let's just put a black bar across the bottom. Oops, it went down a little far. We'll just pull that across. So you can do whatever you want on here. I'm sure you get the idea. Now, the other cool thing is you can come in and you can save this as a template. So we can, we'll just save this one here as test two. I'd already created a test one. And so now we're going to create that now. And then we can come down. We got different templates here. So let's go back to our test one I did earlier. And let's load up our test one template. And so, oh, now we have both of them on here. So we're going to have to delete one of them somehow. Let's, um, let's see. We'll click on overwrite. Oh, well, that's something you'll have to play with on your own <laughs> later on. So um, now let's go in here. We'll just click on next. And it's going to show you what it's going to look like in YouTube, what it's going to look like in Facebook and Twitter. And as soon as we click save thumbnail, it will save the thumbnail and it will create a fourth box for your thumbnails right next to the video. And so now we'll click on close and it's not going to show up right away. So you got to go in and you got to reload the page. And now this is going to be your thumbnail once you save the changes. So it's done finally loading up and we're going to click on save the changes. And what you're going to notice is it does not change it here. It does not change this image at all, but I have tested it and it does actually show this as the thumbnail. So we'll go back into our video manager and we'll go find that video and we'll see what it looks like with that thumbnail on it. And after searching for a bit here, I found it and the thumbnail that we created is right on here. So if you were to save that, if you were put that out to Facebook, anywhere else, it will show this as your thumbnail. So there you go. A quick and dirty little way of getting this done. Oh, right. Also, one more thing is if you just come in here, if you're in this page, just come in here, click on this, come down, click on thumbnail editor, and it'll bring you in to the thumbnail editor here as well. So there you go. There's a quick and dirty way to create yourself a quick thumbnail with a good looking image on it of yourself. So let me mute that. So if you've got any questions, uh, feel free to reach out. Have a great day.